Joe English here from EM All Access. We're in San Francisco at EMS 2015. Today I talked with Julia Bamba of Pepsi about how they're using live events and experiences to create content. Let's listen in to the interview. Hey, Julia, welcome. Hi. Yeah, you're here at EMS with us in yes. San Francisco. Yes. Where'd you make the journey from? Uh, New York City. New York City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A haven of Pepsi drinkers? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's where our headquarters are. How are you reaching consumers today with events? What, what kinds of events are you doing and, and how, are you, how are you doing some things there? Yeah, so um, we think that the live event space is a really rich territory for us. So um, we produced over 40 pieces of content for our uh, Hype for Halftime campaign. Yeah. Um, and four of those pieces actually were captured at live events. Um, and there's this kind of beautiful intersection of taking a live event and then translating it into a piece of content that can be seen by, you know, hundreds of thousands of fans and not just the people who are at the live event. Yeah, how do you do that? How do you create those moments? Yeah, so I think there's a, a few different ways in. One way that we um, approached it this past campaign was creating a engagement program um, where fans kind of showed how hyped they were for halftime uh -huh. um, and the winning the winning city or town uh, got a halftime show of their own um, so we kind of created an event from the ground up based on you know submissions and user generated content yeah. and then from there we kind of take over and, and build an event from the ground up. Yeah, so, so we're talking about the halftime, Super Bowl halftime. Um, yeah. That's a fairly short duration thing. I think we said 12 minutes. Yeah. But how, what, how, how do you create that into a much longer experience that so it lasts and gets more reach out of it? Yeah, so you, you hit on it exactly. It's a 12-minute a pop culture moment in time. Yeah. Um, but of course, it's a, a huge sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So. How do you really get the most out of it and the, the most bang for your buck? Um, and the approach we took this past campaign was, you know, extending that magic of halftime, um, that magical moment that that not everybody gets to see in person or is, is lucky to see in person, um, and really extending that um, as early as November, Thanksgiving. Um, so we started talking about halftime um, with the TV spot that was filmed at a live event as early as Thanksgiving wow. um, and kind of took a, a journey to the halftime show itself wow. um, and really built the momentum. And how did that, after the TV spot, how did that journey then unfold? Did it come into live events themselves? Yeah, so we kicked off the campaign with a, a mega live event on yeah. an aircraft carrier. Oh yeah? Um, and that kind Ooh, of... that must have been complicated. We, we originally were looking into a, a live uh -huh. ship um, and realized that was just potentially a logistical nightmare. So yeah. we actually um, did the event on a, a kind of a retired ship. Okay, and how many people were there and what, what did you do on this ship? Yeah, it was, it was an amazing event. So um, because the spot we knew was going to run on Thanksgiving night during a prime football game, yeah. um, we wanted to make the event around our veterans. Okay. Um, so we invited over 3,000 veterans and their families um, to be the ones on the ship to enjoy the show. Hmm. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's so you, um, you're doing some things with live music as well. Um, we've probably all seen concert footage. I mean, you film, you know, people performing on stage. You wanted to do some things more than that with these events to, to create that experience. Well, what was, tell us about that experience and what you did there. Yeah, so I mean, I think the beauty of having a live event and turning it into content is you're, you're tapping into this authentic fan moment that you really can't get on a set or with actors or, or kind of scripted lines. So I think that just having those very genuine crowd reactions um, is a huge unlock for us. Mm -hmm. um, and like I've mentioned before, not only that, but these live events as content also just, it's an, an amplification tool for us really. You know, we're, we're reaching the people who are there experiencing it live, mm -hmm. and then we're basically multiplying that to that many more eyeballs when we release it as content. Yeah, so, scaling that out. Yeah. Now, do you find people sharing that content too? Once, once you produce it, where does that stuff go? Yeah, yeah, it's a great question. Um, so we generally, it can go in a number of different places. So um, 
if you look at the Blake spot on the aircraft carrier, you know, we, we created a two minute long form piece of digital content that was really living yeah. on YouTube. Um, you know, we then also cut it to a 60 second commercial. Um, and, you know, the, sh the shareability has been great. So if you look at the, you know, 40 pieces of content we released, over half of them um, saw over a million views each. So shareability is huge. It's a, it's a key, you know, success indicator for our content. And then, of course, you know, we always want that to translate into sales. Yeah. We're doing some pretty exciting things in the event space, so uh, keep up the good work and we hope to talk to you again in the future. Great. Yeah, thanks for talking with us. Thanks a lot. Yeah.